on English presents unreal conditionals. If you want to be fluent in English, you must learn your conditional structures. They are used so frequently in the language that you simply cannot go without them. So, prepare yourself to get familiar with one of the most recurrent subjects that matter for you to communicate well. What's the difference in meaning between these two sentences? This sentence describes real time. It is now the right time for the people to go away. Make sure to use an object pronoun here. On the other hand, this sentence is imaginary. It actually means you should have already left. Attention to the use of the subject pronoun. This means that you can also use other, more advanced structures to express conditions in the present or in the past. For example, you use its time and past simple or continuous to point out what you should have already done. Use would rather to talk about preference about present actions. In this case, we're talking about real, concrete situations. Use would rather with past simple to talk about imaginary preferences in the present. You can also use would rather to imagine situations about the past, just like the third conditional. In that case, you'll use a perfect structure instead. Note that would sooner is synonymous with would rather. In both cases, a bare infinitive is used with the linker then. Another alternative is would prefer. Use would prefer it with past simple to talk about preferences in the present. You see, verb prefer is a tricky one. When you collocate it with nouns, make sure to use the preposition to. However, have a look at what happens when you combine I would prefer with rather than. In this last sentence, you are having second thoughts. Use as if or as though with present structures to describe real conditions. And unreal conditions. In this example, the past simple is imaginary. He is not in charge. Want to know more? Subscribe to On English Online on YouTube. Thanks for watching!